So I forgot to mention this in the original take of this video, but the text editor that I'm using is Sublime Text 3. So let's switch to the video now. Hey everyone, so I've decided that I'm going to do a mini series on how to code a Rubik's Cube timer. Um, today we're going to be doing just the HTML side of it, which is kind of setting out the structure of the web pages. And the next, um, the next video will be on the actual design. Um, so it's probably going to look quite horrendous um, after this video, but the next video will make it look um, quite pretty. So we're going to start by saving it as a HTML file. So we'll do timer.html and then we'll do HTML tab and we have this nice little structure. Um, so we'll start at the title. For those of you who don't know what the title is, it is the text inside the tab bar up here um, on a web page. So for our one, we'll do Ed's timer. Cool. Um, now we'll go down into the body. So for this timer, what we want probably at the top is the scramble. So we'll have uh, scramble goes here. Here, and we'll put that with an ID equal to scramble. Okay, and below the scramble, we want the timer. So below that, we will put the timer. So we'll do the ID is equal to timer, and we'll put 0, 0.00. Okay. Um, now we're going to focus on um, our statistics which will be a little table having our best solve, our worst, our average of five, average of 12, and so on. So I'm gonna put this in a div, which is gonna make the styling easier because I can style everything together. Okay, so we've got our div and we'll put table. Now for the, for the heading outside of the table, well, on top of the table, we will put that as uh, statistics for this table. There we go. Cool, so now we can get started on the content inside of the table. So we'll do table body, um, we'll put a row in, and within that row we want a header, which will be the left side of the table, which could be something like our best solve, and we want the actual table data below this. So our TD, which could be 9.99 seconds, I guess. Um, so I'm going to copy this about 10 times. So we'll do, there we go. Um, we'll do this worst, then median. Um, where we got? Average, um, we've got AO5, best AO5, um, AO12, we've got best AO12, um, AO50, and A over 100, I think. Yeah, we'll leave it there. Okay, we've got all those, and yeah, I think that's good. Um, now we want to, we want in. Now we want to add is a list, and I'm actually going to do an ordered list, so it has the numbers next to the solve. So you, um, number one, two, three, four, and I'm actually going to do it in reverse, so that your most recent solve is at the top of the list. So we'll do. Um, we'll put that in a div as well. Div class equals to solve list, just so we can style that by itself. There we go. And we'll put a header as solves. Header solves. So it'll show all of our solves below it. Okay, then we put in ol for for an ordered list, and we'll put it in reverse. OK, 
Okay, and within that, we'll add a few list elements. Um, so we'll have, let's say, 9.99 seconds, um, 3.46 seconds, and um, I don't know, 30.88 seconds. And we'll save that, and then we'll just close the div and close it again. And I think that should be all good. Yep, let's have a see what it looks like. Okay, we'll go desktop, web dev, cube timer. We'll open it with um, Google Chrome. Okay, so doesn't look that great. Um, the next video, the next video in the styling. Um, will help improve this quite a bit, but we'll just see. We'll see what we've done. Okay. Okay. So if we go to the top, so we've got our scramble here, right there, and then we've got our time right here. Then over here we have our table of statistics with our best, worst, median, average, and so on, and the associated time with it. And then below that, we have our, our solve list um, with the solves, um, the most recent solve coming first. So in reverse order. Um, I think that should be it for this video. Um, in the next video, we're gonna probably put the scramble, we'll put the scramble up here, and then we'll put the time right below it in here. And we'll have our statistics going down the page here and of solves going down the page here. So yeah, it looks good. Oh, lastly, just don't want to forget the, um, the title. So our title, it's timer. It's up here. Cool. So that's it. I'll catch you in the next video.